that uh, that week or that day when I came in again, everyone else had read like half the book. At that point, I didn't know I was dyslexic, but I really didn't understand why why this was happening. Why 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 was I? so much slower than everyone else. Nobody diagnosed me as being dyslexic, and so all they could do was assume that I wasn't studying hard enough, that I wasn't reading You're hard lazy. enough, that I was perhaps uh, lazy, yes. I think, I, I, think, I think that if you're not good at conventional uh, work at school, um, you're made to feel stupid. I think that's a good word to use, isn't it? Misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. And I think it goes down to what knowledge of the, of, of dyslexia and Erlen's that the teacher, the lecturer, um, your school you know, is aware of. Dyslexia can cause real challenges in traditional education. Memorising lots of facts and figures, uh, it can be difficult. One in five children suffer from dyslexia. That's 20% of the classroom. And yet teachers aren't trained to recognise it. You know, there is this training does exist but it, somehow it's got to a point where it's not consistent. So for instance, there's, there's um, a way of qualifying for a teacher which is quick and on the job. And I don't think you get the chance to kind of go into it and that kind of thing, because a lot of teacher training is put out to tender. So it means different companies will do you know, the bare minimum cheaper. Some people would argue uh, that dyslexia is actually not a disadvantage. What do you think about that? Yes, I certainly think dyslexia is not a disadvantage. I think it needs treating right at the school level because we have these formal things that everybody has to do at school, English, maths and stuff like that. But outside of those, there are areas where I feel dyslexia enables people rather than restricts what they can do. You've heard people talk about people who think outside of the box. And I think dyslexic people do that very well. So they don't see things as being black and white or flat, no perspective. They see things in a way that there are opportunities creatively. Parents, I think with the best of intentions, are reluctant to accept or to label their child as dyslexic because they have a misconception that it's going to mean all of these negative things. Whereas in reality, it's important for parents to embrace it, to lean into it, and to focus not only on the struggles, but also the strengths, so they can help guide their child through this. Because many students will find that very label to be the most empowering, freeing part of the entire process. If you were thinking about how most people see dyslexia, what, what words do you think people would use to describe them? Uh, at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But by the sounds of it, they're not. 